Okay, so promo, but no promo. This is Lord DIY pom pom string. And it's real cute. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren, and welcome back to DIY Master. So we had a little intermission, but now we are back, and today we're making a freaking Polish Pianki. I watched so many videos to learn how to pronounce that right, so. I think it's right. Polish viewers, let me know. But basically, we're making this really cute paper and straw chandelier situation. I spray painted not very well. I'm realizing right now I missed a bunch of spots. I spray painted this little hoop. This is the base of it. We're making a freaking chandelier without the light. It's like a baby mobile that like plays like, like dee 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 dee, but like cute for like adults, for floor DIYs that are colorful. So I've got a bunch of colorful, cute-ish right here. And I'm just like really hoping that it pulls itself together to make like a cute wall wall hanging, ceiling hanging. I tried to sketch it out on paper earlier. It looks really great on paper. <laughs> so we're gonna see how it translates into real life. I have low expectations, but I feel like with so much cute stuff, it could either look like a cluster F of color or it could be really cute. So stay tuned. Um, I don't super have a plan. Like again, like I said, I drew out a real janky uh, game plan. And also, I get to use Lord DIY stuff because it just ended up being perfect. No promo, but promo. Okay, wait, okay, wait, okay, okay. Mental game plan, okay. So I think we go like one, two, three. So there's like six points. We thread straws and beads and these little crystals and maybe some tassels, fun things. And then we just see where to go from there. <laughs> oh, this is the most aesthetically pleasing package I've ever received. Also, paper straws. Don't use, don't use plastic straws. So I'm like debating on whether I should just kind of randomize the colors or if we should make it the same. I'm kind of like leaning towards random, but then I'm also worried that we're gonna have like the cluster F situation, and that's not the goal here. I also realized that I probably didn't need this many straws. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, 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 okay, okay, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, um, I'll be back in like 10 straws. Okay, so I bought these really cute little crystals. And I think those will be cute. And then there's some really cute beads in this pack. Mia, it's your tippy tappies. Okay, so these are super cute. Some of this one, some of this one. These ones are cute. Okay, I just, I just, I just, you know, hope it comes together. Hope it comes together. Okay, okay. This is, this could be the fate of everything. Also, I feel like I haven't cracked it with straws in so long and I'm really excited about it because like no issues getting a string through this hole. Make a little, a little red one, a little red one, and then. Oh, this is where everything can go wrong. I'm so stressed. Okay. Uh, uh. Wait, should we do some pom pom beads? Pom pom beads are fun. Pom pom beads. It's like, yeah, I'm a little bougie, but yes, I'm also four years old. That's the vibe we're going for here. See, okay, but I feel like could pom poms make this look like I'm four years old? Like, that's the issue. Yeah. Also, why why like would they put the hole through here? Like, that's stupid. This is really setting the tone for the whole thing, too. So we kind of have to follow this pattern, and I'm not a huge fan of that, but I uh, gotta start somewhere. Okay, yes, yes, I see. I feel like we're heading in. This looks like a kindergarten's craft. A little concerned. It's like, like, should I just throw like a macaroni on there now too, <laughs> since we're we're back in kindergarten? <laughs> like, that's the vibe I feel like we have right now. Oh no! <laughs> like, is this a bad time to also put a heartbeat on? Like, I don't know. <laughs> but like, Loki, these heartbeats are so cute. I, I feel like I need to look at, at reference photos again, yeah. inspo photos. This is the consensus that we're starting again, and we're just gonna make it a macaroni chandelier. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're gonna rethink, re-strategize, and start again. Yo, this is cute! Okay, so we just gotta do this six more times, so we're gonna be here for a little bit. I also just ordered lunch, which, you know, is just, Gonna factor in how efficient this, this whole thing happens because I'm super hungry. But uh, can I do it six more times? No, sorry. 
five more times. Math. Yo, this looks fire. This looks so good. I was gonna put like those paper mache flowers at the top, but I don't even know if it needs it. Maybe it needs it. I think it needs it. Okay, so uh, my pizza just got here, so we're gonna take a little pizza break real quick, and then resume our um, Polish payonkiing. <laughs> Back to class, uh, kindergarten class is back in session. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach all six of these to here, and then I was gonna put all the flowers on each of these, but I think it's gonna be like too heavy in the top. So I'm thinking, attach my little octopus, cute booty, he's like a bougie octopus, who lost two legs. And then put all the flowers in between it when we attach it, so it's gonna be like, like this one, and then we'll put the flowers like on the actual hoop. Okay, honestly, I am impressed with this to the max. This looks so cute. Guys, we are making a freaking chandelier. Am I putting you to sleep? Is this soothing? Can I get some uh, some baby twinkle twinkle star music? This looks good. I know our bougie octopus needs a little little evening, so I'm gonna handle that. And uh, let's go potty. Guys, the innovation right now. This is a DIY in itself. I just took off my egg chair, which is now currently sitting on the ground. It also kind of looks really cozy on the ground. This was made for this DIY. It's like good height to get under it and do a little DIY action. Flowers are going on last, so keep that in mind. So like in your mind, visualize the cute flowers right here. And we're gonna do like the lower, like Bougie Octopus is about to get like a lower half. It's gonna be good. I think it's cute. I've got, I got faith. I got faith. Okay, so promo, but no promo. This is Lord DIY pom pom string. And it's real cute. So I'm thinking, that we do like one here, one here, and then I've got this like crystally one, and we do four, and then I like this one, and like this one. Ugh, this is so cute. So this comes in pink and white. P.S. guys, I'll leave a link to everywhere where you can get all the DIY spies, because I know I'm like being like promo, no promo, but like, I'll leave a link. Okay, a little, little bit of hot glue. Guys, I actually think this is gonna be super cute. And then we could put it in the DIY room. Okay, so I think I wanna do like a tassel at the very bottom here. So like not too long, but long enough to have like a center point. Is that like good tassel length? Maybe a little shorter, like that, that's good. <laughs> Ow, pain, hot. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, there's one. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute! Um, I have had a flower eating bandit come through my DIY supplies and this one is currently not usable. So um, <laughs> I gotta make another one, <laughs> which takes like two seconds, but Flower eating bandit, if you're listening, don't appreciate your flower eating shenanigans. I think we should do one like right here. I think that'd be really cute because I'm gonna do the tassel here, one leg right here, maybe like just one straw here, like some beach or something. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put this one on. This is the last one. Also, I told you the flower's gonna tie it all together. I feel like it's super cute. Oh my gosh, guys, I found this tassel from like forever ago. It's like supposed to actually be like more of a garland situation. This is like one of the garland pieces. But if we make it cute up here, and like a dual little situation like this. Yeah, that is the freaking move. And then we'll do our other little blue tassel down here. Oh my gosh, we are so close. We are so close. <laughs> Look at this little tiny pocket. It never had any use until right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> I made just like a little situation here with some wire because this thing was, just gave me a big old fight. But it gets to be really cute. Also like when in doubt, just use wire. If your string is just not cooperating. Just use wire. Okay, oh my gosh, final touch. Also, I can't decide if I have heartburn because I'm like nervous slash excited or because of the pizza I just ate, but either way, your girl needs a Tums right now. <gasps> oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We, okay, this is like actually so cute. And I feel like it probably really makes sense to like not take the chair off and just leave this here and just have this as a display for our chandelier. Good job, octopus bougie chandelier thingy. 
Found it. Nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY mess. Let me know if there are any other projects you'd like to see me tackle. If you haven't seen any of the other five episodes of DIY Master, basically this is the show where I tackle harder, bigger, more intense projects and put my DIY skills to the test, which I feel like today came through. Even though it's been a little bit, DIY Master, we back. And for real, if you guys wanna shop any of the Lord DIY products that you saw in the video, there will be links in the down bar below. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for a good morning and Sunday for another Sunday. Ah, my heartburn is just so bad right now. Sunday, what? Okay, bye guys, love you! I'm the DIY queen, that's the royal elite My pretty little kingdom out here running the streets She's the DIY queen Yeah, you know what